welcome back to learning partner continuing to our interview videos so i have came back with the new interview questions that is mainly focused on the programming okay so what we get the coding snippets after all the theoretical part is done everyone is going to ask you some theoretical uh, practical uh, coding scenarios okay some might be related to hoisting closure set timeout then it can be spread operator rest operator functions normal function arrow function okay so we are just going to cover so i have gathered some uh, famous questions from my friends so i will just go through it okay you might have also faced the same okay with output also i will explain everything okay so let's start with some uh, these are the questions i have just separated it uh, global and tcs and cognizant some of the questions are from there i have not taken the normal question just the challenging questions or the tricky questions i have taken okay so let's see so if you can see the first question we have one object that is var a inside that we have one field name and it is having uh, field uh, value as hemant then we have a second property that is var b and value is 2 okay then we have a function that is change it has two parameter temp a temp b and now temp a dot name we are going to change to nikhil and temp b we are assigning the value 3 okay if we call the function change a and b and after that if we try to print a dot name means this object dot name and value b that was declared over here so our output will be nikhil and 2 okay why is it because if you can see in change we are passing a a is an object inside that property we have a name property so we are completely sending the object okay and that name property we are changing you can see temp a we will get it here this object we will get it here and temp a dot name we are changing it to nikhil okay but because this was the object and if we change it here it is going to change over here also okay the hemant will be replaced by nikhil but in the second case we are sending b means b value is 2 okay and we are changing it to the 3 it won't change the original value because this is a primitive data type and it's a object so if we send object and then inside that field if we change some value it is going to reflect but in case of uh, number or string it is not going to change it will just change the parameter okay so where b won't be changed so you can see nikhil and 2 will be the output okay moving on to next question next is the set timeout so this is a uh, very normal one so we have console.log first then set timeout inside that set timeout we have printed console.set timeout then timer is 0 and then console.log last okay so some of you might get confused like 0 is there so first this log console this will print then set timeout will print then last will print but no even if it is zero it is going to take some time so first this will be printed then last will be printed then set timeout will be printed okay zero is also kind of sum of a value now so it will take some time okay till that last will be printed okay doesn't matter what is the scenario interviewer might uh, confuse you with the zero timing okay but still it will end it will execute at the end okay moving on to next so if you can see here we have function a inside that we have called function b then console.log a okay then we have second function b inside that we have printed console.log b and i have just invoked first function that is a so as you know javascript execute line by line so when we execute the when we invoke the function a it will come here then it will get console.log b uh, sorry b function invocation is there so it will go here it will print b then after performing all the lines here in function b it will come back and print the console.log a so our output will be b and a this was not that much tricky but still okay let's see the next okay it is again with the hoisting so if you can see we have a variable having name user username as hemant okay then we have a function b inside that we, we have a set timeout and inside that set timeout we are calling print function with timer zero print function is here okay then we have console.log username and 
username and again we are declaring where username is equal to Nikhil okay now see just see properly we have a global variable username which is having value Hemant and we have declared again same variable inside the function B with username Nikhil okay then we have console.log username and we are triggering B function so we are invoking just B function so it will go here then it got set timeout okay so set timeout will take some time so first after that next line will execute now console.log username so now username is present here also and here also so now hoisting so what it tells the hoisting when we have a local variable with the same name so it will try to get this value okay but currently this value is not in this line is not initialized yet okay so here as the hoisting says like whenever we declare the variable with where variable will be declared and initialized with undefined value so currently this line is not executed so we will have undefined over here in username it will not take this value because if we didn't if we didn't have this variable now so it will take it will it will have take username we have declared at the top but since this variable is already present over here and it is not initialized yet so this will print undefined okay then set timeout is there so again it will go here okay so sorry first this user will be printed that is Heman okay this console log because it is outside now so first Heman will be printed then b function then inside that this line will print and but this value is not initialized yet so it will be undefined then print function will be called in print function we can say username is there but this username will uh, point to the global variable so you see this is Heman this is undefined and again this is Heman getting it let's move on to the next now our next question is difference between normal and the arrow function okay so now you can see where name is equal to nickel is there when again second object i have created where person inside that name hemant is there age 30 is there and we have two function first get detail is a normal function here we are seeing this dot name is printed okay and second function that is get name it is an arrow function here also we are printing this dot name in both the function we have used this dot this of this context okay now again we have one more function that is print name and here also we have tried to access name property using this okay now person dot get detail first function what we have called is person dot get detail so what it will do person dot get details this is an object and get detail this is a normal function okay so what normal function does when we call the normal function this will refer where we have this function i mean this will point to the current object okay because this is in this current object and in that object we have a name property with value heman so you can see in get detail heman will be printed because get detail is a normal function so this will refer to the current execution context current execution context is this and inside that we have a name property which is having value heman so this will print heman okay but in case of arrow function arrow function will point from where it is called okay so we are calling arrow function from here means in go global but in global we have the name property as nikhil so you can see gate name will print nikhil okay so that is the difference we have in normal function and, and arrow function normal function will point normal function this will point to the current execution context but arrow function will have this this will refer to from where it is called okay so we have called arrow function in the global so it will point this name okay then we have print name this dot name again so here you can say this is a global this is a normal function right in this we have used this dot name so i told you like it is a normal function so it will use the current execution context okay so in this function we don't have any variable with name right but in its global we have that is wait 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 okay we have used bind sorry so 
if you can see this is the function we have used bind over here and for binding we have sent this object okay so what it does print name this is a function and we have bind add person object so this will refer to this particular value so it will print such in over here okay next question is simple object and access let's say we have an object that is object then inside that we have a property which is having hello world and in b we have 42 and in where b we have put a that is a string object string value but if you see console.log object of b so what you will get Eitherly, if you say normally you will say 42 but it will print hello world because in b what do we have a so this will nothing but object of a so it will print hello world an object of b is nothing but 42 okay so these are the some questions we have let's move to the next